recommending free music production apps that you'll actually find useful as a Logic Pro for iPad user is quite tough, as Logic's stock instruments and effects are so good that they make a lot of the freebies out there a bit irrelevant really. So I've gone over the app store with a fine tooth comb and uncovered three free apps that I think are definitely worth your time. Alright, headphones in for this one. This is Panflow, a creative panning modulator for iOS from Audio Modern. While you can use Logic's built-in automation to have tracks pan around the stereo spectrum, Panflow allows you to be a bit more creative. All wrapped up in a stunning, easy-to-use interface, Panflow allows you to shape complex, evolving panning patterns and add rhythmic movement to any track in real time. You can dive in and manually add and then drag and drop points to design your pattern. Or, and I kind of prefer it this way, hit the big randomizer button in the middle and let Panflow create one for you. You can switch between levels of complexity change from curved to straight to step panning lines There's an infinity mode that would be familiar to anyone who's used any of Audio Modern's other apps and that's me barely scratching the surface Panflow is a proper wee gem and it's a brilliant way to add a real sense of motion and fluidity to your projects Musical musician Heinbach has once again teamed up with app developer Audio Thing for Moon Echo. A delightfully bizarre delay effect based on a communications technique that uses the moon as a reflector for radio waves. As usual, Heinbach has gone all in on this idea. In fact, you can go and watch his in depth documentary style video about the creation of the app, and I'd highly recommend doing so. It's a fascinating watch. You'll find a link to that below the like button. To create the unique effects for this app, Heinbach sent test signals, voice and human test tones by sopranist Johanna Vargas and double bassist Paul Cannon, as well as signals from his supporters on Patreon to the moon. No, I mean it, he really did. I know it sounds crazy, but in practice, well, I mean, it is crazy, but in a good way? Absolutely bizarre, but still somehow really usable. There isn't anything else on the App Store quite like Muneco. Based on a module from their popular effect collaboration with Andrew Huang, Transit 2, Baby Audio's Warp allows users to speed up, slow down and affect the pitch of anything it's applied to. I really love all of Baby Audio's free apps. They retain the essence of what makes the full fat versions of these freebies so unique, while being actually really usable in their own right. Warp is no exception. It has three deceptively simple controls. The speed control lets you slow down or speed up the signal you apply it to. While the stretch control adjusts the pitch of the signal you've sped up or slowed down.
The mix control adjusts how much of the wet, affected signal you hear, and how weird and crazy things get. You can use warp to do things like slow down a vocal recording with the speed control and then adjust the pitch of the vocal with the stretch knob. Or you can add some ethereal ghost type notes to instruments. It's great fun to mess around with, but it does have some real world functionality too. For example, you can apply warp to your master output, and this is a really straightforward way to make slowed and reverb versions of your tracks if that's your kind of thing. Warp uses the same algorithms as Transit 2, and as such it avoids creating any nasty artefacts or weirdness when slowing down or speeding up audio. I can do that and then slap on copious amounts of reverb to this track and it's ready to be turned into a sound that random emo tiktokers will slap on some kind of depressing slideshow. Let me know your must-have free music production apps down in the comments, and you'll find links to all of the apps featured in this video down below the like button too. Finding decent instrument apps is almost as hard as finding good free ones. Here are three that I think work really well with Logic Pro for iPad. 